neutralizing petroleum-based hydrocarbons using mushroom mycelium. The mycelium infuses all landscapes. It holds soils together. It's extremely tenacious. It holds up to 30,000 times its mass. They're the grand molecular disassemblers of nature, the soil magicians. They generate the humus soils across the land masses of Earth. In a single cubic inch of soil, there can be more than eight miles of these cells. We were involved in several experiments. Our pile, we inoculated with mushroom mycelium. The mushroom mycelium is absorbing the diesel. Uh, it denatures it. The mycelium absorbs the oil. The mycelium is producing enzymes, peroxidases, that break carbon-hydrogen bonds. These are the same bonds that hold hydrocarbons together. So the mycelium becomes saturated with the oil, and then when we return six weeks later, all the tarps were removed, all the other piles were dead, dark, and stinky. We came back to our pile, it was covered with hundreds of pounds of oyster mushrooms, and the color changed to a light form. And the mushroom mycelium produces these extracellular sweat beads, again, enzymes, lignin peroxidases, and the lignin peroxidases uh, uh, break, break carbon-hydrogen bonds, which is the bond uh, that makes, it's a primary bond in lignin. Well, that's also the primary bond in hydrocarbons. So they've been exquisitely uh, des well designed for breaking down a whole suite of hydrocarbon-based contaminants. The enzymes remanufacture the hydrocarbons into carbohydrates, fungal sugars. Some of these mushrooms are very happy mushrooms. They're very large. They're showing how much nutrition that they could have obtained. But something else happened, which is an epiphany in, in my life. They sporulated, the spores attract insects, the insects laid eggs, eggs became larvae, birds then came bringing in seeds, and our pile became an oasis of life. Whereas the other three piles were dead, dark, and stinky, and the PAHs, the aromatic hydrocarbons, went from 10,000 parts per million to less than 200 in eight weeks. These are gateway species, vanguard species, that open the door for, uh, for other biological communities. So I invented burlap sacks, bunker spawn, and putting the mycelium using storm-blown debris. You can take these burlap sacks and put them downstream from a farm that's producing E. coli or other waste, or a factory with chemical toxins, and it leads to habitat restoration.